is Michael, and I'm with Ashley. If you haven't heard of Ashley, she's done a lot of things, but her and her twin sister have uh, a YouTube channel, Patreon channel, <laughs> Instagram, all of those things. She's been very active uh, right alongside of me. You know, I may have started a few years before her, but we got a first limb on right here. We've been debating on what this, what this white stuff is on the river. Comment below. It kind of looks like it's it's very soft and cottony-ish. Now, for some reason, I've always thought her dogwood, but there are no dogwoods anywhere that I can see anywhere. You see if there's a bait, if there's bait. Well, and dogwoods have petals. So yeah, I don't but really like think. in the middle. Yep. All right. Piece Still got bait. some skipjack. You have to. So me and Daniel, we uh, drug everything up yesterday. Last video, there was a flood on the way. We came out here, did the best we could, but we were a little bit too late. And uh, both trout lines snapped. And, but yesterday, we got 99% of them up. There's one segment that we had to cut off, and we know where it is. We're waiting for the water to go down. I take a lot of pride in getting 100% of my lines, my limb lines, and all that out. One thing we did lose is the jug. If you remember last video at the end, there was a lightning storm on the way, had a brand new person, couldn't keep this motor running. I think I got it fixed now. And uh, we drove up on the jug. It was kind of hung up in a bunch of stuff. Storm was coming, we just left it. We're gonna come back. When I went back, it was gone. So between here and the Gulf of Mexico, there is a uh, white jug. It looks like a, a small almond milk jug. It will say HLC. Uh, just give me a picture. Send me a picture to hooklinechill at gmail.com and I will send you a t-shirt. And if you don't want a t-shirt, give the jug to somebody else. <laughs> We moved about everything. We left three limb lines from the last uh, setup, moved to way, way up river, and we moved both trot lines. So uh, this is the first uh, bait of this current setup. And last video, there was a white squirrel. If you saw it, congratulations. Uh, the winner has been emailed. And uh, I just want to announce that there is a second white squirrel out there, unclaimed. It's only on Patreon though. It wasn't on purpose, but I noticed in one of the videos that we posted there, this year, the white squirrel appeared. So there is an unclaimed white squirrel. If you're on Patreon and you find it, comment on that video or message me. Usually it isn't necessarily always the first person. It's just we pick somebody. In this case, it will be, so good luck. Uh, a big difference, I think, on this year's videos is you're actually allowing yourself to be in front of the camera more. Like you cut to that to that angle well, more when you're talking uh, to them and stuff. Well, part of the idea is the person is in the boat. They're sitting right here. I look over at them every now and then, <laughs> <laughs> and you guys look right at them because when you're talking to me, you can kind of tell now because it's kind of over. Mm -hmm. Used to it was right in front of me and you couldn't tell, but now. You want to talk to the audience, look over at this camera. You guys are very quiet and you hang out in our boat. I appreciate that. If you're going to be with this channel, especially on Patreon, uh, one good thing is if you want to pretend, get that mentality like, what would it be like to sit in the boat with them while they're making a video? And then whatever comment that you made, imagine saying that out loud while you're in the boat with us. Would that go over well? <laughs> Sometimes it would. Sometimes you probably wouldn't ride again. That was that was me laughing at what their comment was. <laughs> so I think this is pretty deep water right here around this turn. I never put one here before. There will be a white tag somewhere straight ahead. There it is. Straight ahead. Okay. Yep, I see it. I'll try not to get it into the Foilage. Is it foilage or no, foliage? It's foliage. I was about to say, I was like, it's foliage. 
Mm -hmm. Daniel was like, should we put it here? It's uh, it's a poison ivy. I was like, we'll try to keep it out in the water. So Ashley's been doing a lot of videos lately, I've noticed. I've watched some of them. I haven't watched them all, though. The re leg wrestling, I watched the first bit of it. I mean, <laughs> just, just the title of it and the thumbnail kind of drew me in. <laughs> it was such a silly video. And, I mean, people seem to have liked it, though. My mom watched it uh, on Mother's Day when I was at her house. And <laughs> she just cracked up through the whole thing. I think it was maybe the nostalgia of Mother's Day and then, like, flashing back to when we played this when we were kids. And we were talking about it with my brother as well. And he remembers playing it. My younger brother's six years younger than us. But... Yeah, uh, I have to finish the video. I, I, like I said... Uh, I watched the beginning. I remember seeing the pigtails, and I ain't gonna lie, I can always tell the difference between them two. But in the very beginning, at first, I wasn't sure because <laughs> uh, Jada has bounced back rather quickly after having her child, and she looks great. Well, feel I something? feel something. Yeah. Did you see the line moving? I can't quite tell. No. Uh, I just want to know if it's gonna hang up, but it's also would love to catch a couple big ones. I also saw a video. Oops, here we go. Right there. Oh, the net kind of got dragged away. It's all right. I'll just. Is he big enough? I, guess, I mean, like I don't said. think he'll need to be weighed. I don't think he's fish of fortune big enough. But we want to get that first one in so I don't get a bucket of water over the head. <laughs> After that, it's all up to y'all. Yeah, that's a decent one. I forgot yeah. to say, guys, we are actually fishing for food today. Somewhat a mess, so this is going to be kept. Daniel's behind us with a basket. Uh, I held it wrong. Yeah, I did this wrong. You just got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it sideways so we can see how big it is. Kind of lean forward a little more. There you go. I'm joking. No, you guys got I see. Oh, this one's a fish of fortune. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, uh, I was going to talk about your channel a little more, but let's get this in. <laughs> he was worried that the last fish might be the only one on this new setup. Well, I mean, who knows? But yes, that's a nice, it's not a giant, but it is uh, a It contender. is weighable. It is fish of fortune. I love playing the game. Woo! You got to get it all the way in the boat. So it, doesn't, it doesn't count. You could... Kaboom! Cha-ching! Dallas signs. All right, those of you that may have forgotten, Fish of Fortune. Uh, it's a game we play if the point person thinks a fish is 10 pounds or more. Ashley's the point person today and she thinks this fish is 10 pounds or more. <laughs> if she can guess the exact weight, hook, line, and shield will give her $500. Has to be 10 pounds. But if she's within five pounds under, she'll get 50. But if she goes over even one pound, she busts and wins nothing. I have a scale here, and she's about to make her guess. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. So I've played it safe and guessed 10? There's another rule. If they're more than five pounds under the weight of the fish, they get a second guess for half the prize. So she could win 250 or 25 or she could bust. You get a guess? No, no, no. Well, oh, I'm, picking, oh, no. I'm, I'm picking it up. Man, I don't know if we could allow that. Oh. <laughs> you guys keep bending all the rules. Um, more, it's more than five pounds. So five pounds will make it 18. So we'll stay safe and say, 19. 21. Oh! <laughs> $25. If she had said 21, it would have been 250. And oh, oh. there's a fish. Well, I didn't get your permission before I cut that other one, so that's why I didn't want to. Really, you don't have some. to. I think in the paperwork, it literally says that. The photo video release, there is a photo video release just in case someone tries to be like take the video down uh but in there it says you have all rights to your own stuff oh well. but i do too yeah but you put in all the work and the efforts so i want to be respectful of yeah. that too like some people ask me can i use this i'm like of course you can 
you know, I do ask people not to do it before the video. And if they started doing it, I may change the, <laughs> change the uh, way we do things. But currently it's all uh, owner system. That's a nice eater there. Stop, dude, you're hooking yourself worse. So back to Ashley and Jada, we were talking about that earlier. She did a leg wrestling video and then a, a try on video, which is very popular these days. She, uh, her and her twin sister, they look pretty close. They do have some slight differences, but uh, do some try ons, you know. So I think she tried this shirt on, right? Yeah, in one of the videos, this is one of the shirts that I got. It's a. Uh, it's always uh, interesting when you drop in on fellow people. She did a video called Fishing with Bluegill with Dad. Or yeah. yeah. She, uh, she tries she's to, like even though one. she's kind of got her own thing, occasionally she uh, has some outdoor videos that are related to us. I don't know that it's because of us, but her dad does fish. So. Yeah, I go fishing with my dad several times over the summer that just happened to be our first day out go fish on uh we were originally going to go to like barkley and bank fish but he was like actually since you're with me i want to get the boat out make sure there's not any leaks or anything while there's a second person there to test the stuff then it ended up being crazy windy and so the boat was just drifting on the lake like crazy so we ended up bank fishing at the dam at the lake and uh, it did good. We we caught nine or ten fish, ten maybe or what something. What kind? Like that. Did you catch the actual bluegill? No, Dad caught the bluegill. I caught a bluegill, but it was too small. Too small. You should bring and put it on the trout line. <laughs> I thought I actually said that. Dad held up one, and I was like, that would be perfect trout yeah, line. Yeah, the ones that you could eat. I don't. I don't. We don't do very good. But the medium to small. That's that's where it's at here. Well, we um we caught caught it because we do a, a family homecoming during Memorial weekend every year and so um, that's actually will be today when this video comes out and uh, dad skins it and fries it all up oh 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 yes looking for food got a little flathead, yeah, flathead. speaking of small fish that one's small but he is an eater and he look he he de he de hooks himself isn't that so polite of him but he made a mess of your of your line now. Just throw it out. We'll get it. <gasps> Daniel's behind us. He's baiting up. <laughs> so in June, we're going to try to do two videos a week. So that depends on the river, fishing, time, people. But I do have a bunch of people already interested. Ashley and Jada may be one of them. <laughs> I'm sure they'll eventually be. Jada hasn't bought her ticket. So she's like... Sometime in June or July. I gotcha. So just this summer. Well, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get the episode. I don't know if that was a fish on the line. It kind of was far out. Yeah, it's it Asian. The line would be moving tremendously if it was that because it would have been humongous. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on. That other line had great fish, and I figured this one uh, would do better. Oh, oh I feel got, one. You got something. You just see the line dip back under? Yeah. I don't know, I think he's huge, but it's a fish. Another eater. Yep. Another blue cat. That was a great no net. <laughs> I think you do have the best no net. <laughs> well, thank you. So far. We're doing a contest for that too, guys. tree branch right here. Can, can you see it? See if you can just rip it out. I mean, oh, it's like... Stuck. All right, guys, this is Michael, and I'm with Ashley. It's like... Pretty good, pretty good video. No <laughs> giant fish, but a pretty good size one. We'll see you next time.